How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Franco. Welcome back to Coffee Talk. In the last one, we met a character named Rachel. We learned that she always has fights with her father. Georgie came in and told her, ah, it's a normal thing, and Freya is starting to worry about this novel idea. So, shit's getting real. Let's get into it. Man, I still can't get over the artwork of this game. Good evening, Mr. Hyde. <clears throat> evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming. After his shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our when obviously, there's only you in here. Oh. I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm, your blood. <laughs> I keep making jokes and it turns out it's what they're gonna say. Do you have any blood? Uh... <laughs> Sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on, did you think I was serious? Um... Yes. <laughs> nah. Give me a ginger t green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. So... Tea. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Green tea, ginger. Try two gingers. Let's see what goes. Let's see what happens. Serve that shit. Your drink is ready. Let's see. Good. Glad you liked it. Please don't feed on me. <laughs> By the way, if you don't mind my asking, ask away. You said you're here for work. Yes. For a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... Hmm... What's the word? Something as honorable as that. Hmm? Then, are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job, per se. We just lure people into back alleys and then make them become the Batman. But definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then... what is it? Guess. Ah, you travel a lot? More or less. Uh, you befriended a startup founder. So I assume you either have your own startup, or you work in some kind of investment agency. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then, what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. Oh, didn't expect that. But you have the looks and figure. So, yeah, guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. Yeah, you know, apparently that's actually a true fact if you look at like vampire lore. Skin paler than an elf's. 
but we don't have those annoying pointy ears, just these annoying pointy fangs makes it hard to bite people. Which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. How bad is advertised anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Uh, um, actually, yeah, that's actually a really good market tactic. Isn't that false advertising? <laughs> Don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. Huh, never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Are there two hours of modeling? That doesn't look right. Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. Wow. I'm a human, so that's a while. Gala, Freya, Freya. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person, if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. You could say I'm a regular here. Okay, they're actually, yeah, they're giggling in like unison. It's kind of weird. Hence the attitude. Hey. You look very happy. Any special occasion? <laughs> nah, nothing. This is my default state. Actually, if you have a default state, happiness would actually be a good one to have. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. Oh. Ah. Get. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit! 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. My current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually I work until it's the grandchild. Huh. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. Oh, how's the writing so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck and in need of a warm drink. So, brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. What? I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Hmm. Warm and sweet. Warm and sweet. Hmm. This might be the first time I'll actually have to just guess and hope it's right. Boom? Maybe? It's not that warm. Kinda sweet though. Let's see if this pisses her off. Here you go. Um... Anything wrong? It's not bad, but it's not warm or sweet enough. But don't worry about it. Damn it! Can I go back? Can I, can I try again? No? Okay. Well, now I'm gonna worry about it, because I fucked up. <clears throat> Sorry, Freya. So, you're a writer? Yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers. But I'm also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Uh... It's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. So, not fantasy or sci-fi? Hmm, I'm still not sure. 
Probably it'll be normal slice of life. You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll sit in a world where only humans exist. <laughs> Sounds a bit racist. That's the twist. This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine, even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. I mean, that's not wrong. I mean, this world's kind of fucked. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Hide, you'd be surprised. Difference in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. I assure you of that. Why are you laughing? That's not a good thing. That doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. Well, that's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what-ifs. <laughs> that's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Because I can turn into a bat and shit. Aw, oh, thank you. Gala? Lua! Oh, it's been a while. Hi, everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Lua, Lua, L-U-A, Lua. I had trouble pronouncing it the first time, too. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. They are going to sound exactly the same, much like everyone else in the series. I need an escape from my co-workers. So I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, Jesus! I'd answer your phone. Oh, he's not. Thank you. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? <sighs> to be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh, uh, exactly, Freya. Dot, dot, dot. I... We shall fix that with a warm drink, then. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte. Is there a problem? Um, no, it's nothing. Sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. How do I make that? I want to get all the drinks right. There we go. Uh, green tea, milk, and milk. Got it! Put some latte art on this bitch, but I'm not actually gonna check the controls because last time I screwed up. Let's see. Poor milk is DNR. Okay. We're gonna put a nice little apple with a nice sm that. Perfect. I am a true artiste. <laughs> Your green tea latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like, this drink feels really heartwarming. Hmm, call me pretentious. But I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. 
we interrupt Coffee Talk to bring you Kingdom Hearts 4, The Coffeeing. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. <laughs> By the way, about Bailey's? Has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Mm, not that I know of. He hasn't. Hide, answer your fucking phone! Oh. Thank you. Fucking... The phones go off and it scares me. I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Ah, please don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? It sounds like something I put in my coffee. Uh. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Bailey's is... Or was. I don't know. My boyfriend. Oh. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Oh, okay. Hey, is it okay for him to just ask her like that? You tell me. Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus, and he's an elf. Hmm. The usual race, racial problems, then. <laughs> For it's just like, eh? Ma? Yeah. Psst. Show some manners, old man. What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. Huh. That's actually kind of a good point. It's alright. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close, and usually they're supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf, they fear I'll be treated like... like a peasant. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times. I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the relationship. You don't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we've been for the past 10 years. So, you've been together for 10 years as a couple. And he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years. That was without familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want a relationship to move forward. I want a family. Oh. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No. Quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you, even if he has to leave his family. Hmm. Yes. Problem solved, then. Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. It's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible. If he regrets his decision one day. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. Oh? I can't let him make that sacrifice. Ooh, uh. Did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes, 
No. Maybe a little bit. We didn't think we'd get this far. <laughs> From what I can see, you are the problem here. Oh no, he didn't! You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him. Family approval. If you're asking for a racial reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Old man, stop talking. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Bailey's? I love him. Of course I do. I'd put the phone on silent. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish. Because... I can't do the same for him. Hide, answer the phone. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So, you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. You know, the sad fact of life is that's actually kind of true. Some are. Not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No. They always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is the best for you. Pretty simple. I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to meet the girl who always runs away. But thank you for the advice. Take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. Hi, you're not very good at this. Frey's gonna lay into him. <laughs> Just the look on her face is just like, this asshole. <laughs> but you agree with me, don't you? Well... <sighs> you didn't have to say it so harshly, you know? What are you doing here by yourself, anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? <laughs> I'm waiting for a friend to come and break me out. Oh, there he is. Yep, there we go. Good evening, everyone. Ah, oh, man. Choosing multiple voices is really difficult. Mainly because I'm not a good voice actor. If only Tijax was here. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. <sighs> what did you do this time, Hyde? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stated facts. Harshly. To someone that needed it. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folks can tell me what about what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Uh -huh, no, you don't. Son of a motherless... There we go. Okay, he asked for the remedy. I mentioned it a couple of days ago. Hmm, the one with ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure, I should try and mix... Should I try and mix some ginger with tea? Yes. Tea, ginger... Okay, 
I can't. Why does this keep happening? <sighs> Give me one second. You'll know when you get it right. Hmm. Send needs a mix. Oh, we got normal tea. Oh, we have normal tea? Why didn't I know that before? I'm such an idiot. Uh. We got green tea. Which one has more caffeine? Uh, let's go with tea, tea and ginger. I am really sorry if I get this wrong, sir. <laughs> okay, let's hope that the fucking dialogue doesn't keep skipping, because I swear to the lord, I keep pressing buttons to fix it, and it's like, no you didn't. Use your drink, sir. You fucked up. <laughs> I'm 100% sure... This is not the remedy I would need. Let me try brewing another one. It's okay. I am not good at this. <laughs> I'm more interested in the story anyway. So, tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. Alright, so there's this girl. <sighs> Sounds like the start of a really shit joke. That's about it. This motherfucker. Hide, oh hide. You never change, do you? Don't give me that bullshit. Oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now? Dude, honesty is good and all. But, you know, try not to be a dick. Listen to her, hide. She's got a good point. <sighs> Not you two. I was a bit surprised, though. Usually, you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. <laughs> you do know me. We've been friends for years. Yeah, he might have a more southern accent this time, just so I can actually give him a distinct voice. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. <laughs> I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic. Judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right. But there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go. So soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. Huh. Weird. Normally she's the last person to leave. She's kind of... There we go. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when... Oh, sorry, I misread that. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out? Seriously. I thought the story from Freya was enough. To fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was... something, indeed. Hmm. You said something about being my friend for years. Yeah? Why? Do you ever wonder what we'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? I actually wonder that sometimes, too. About, like, my own life, not the game. Hmm. Forget it. It's late, anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, Crispy. Thanks for the evening. Pleasure is mine. Bye. I fucking gave him the wrong voice. So about that drink, I'm sorry I fucked up. What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Hmm. Care for another drink to end the day? 
adventure. I guess we are going to drink it. Galahad. Ginger chai latte. Good to calm yet warm your nerve. Maybe that's what we have to make him. That will be interesting. Oh, Galahad. That's clever. All right. So, much like all the other episodes of this, I'm going to leave this episode of Coffee Talk here. I think it's a good place to stop. We got hide, start, and shit. Just why? Why vampires be doing that? Ah, maybe we'll find out in a future episode. So, thank all of you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you all later on. Ciao.